This is Idea Sheet Video Episode 3. I'm going to start off showing you how to make this heart. And if you can count to eight, you can do this heart. So, set that aside. I'm going to use this stick weed and the Hunter Green ink. We start off with one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There's your basic heart shape. Then I'm going to turn the stamp around, go the opposite direction. So you're up to 16 stick weeds. And I'm going to crisscross the angles, and that'll get rid of that blocky. Appearance. There's your basic heart shape. And I'm going to put flowers on it. I'm going to start off with our pine needles stubby. I'm going to stamp it in a bluey purple color, going around to create kind of a thistle globe thistles in my garden and this is kind of what they look like. Again, I'm intentionally blending the colors on my ink pad. There's my little globe thistles. The colors at this point again are a little isolated. I'm going to take my little stick brush flower. Help pull that color around. I'm going to grab my carved leaf stubby. leaves on there, and then my stubby dots in blue, and I do put some of the dots on the inside of the wreath as well, not just on the outside. There's my wreath out of my stick weed. second thing I want to show you on the idea sheet using the stick weed, episode 3, is the tree. I'm going to take my stick weed, and this is very simple if you can count to five. I'm going to start at the top. One, two, three, four, five. And there's my basic shape. If you look at the idea sheet, there, sheet there's the um, basic shape for the heart and the basic shape for the tree. And due to fill in the trees, I'm going to come make it somewhat even across the bottom and then fill in the gaps. I'm going to draw my wire on here first. There's my electrical wire. Take my little plug stamp and plug my wire in. I'm going to grab my solid light bulb. Solid light bulb stick. You don't want to use the open light bulb because it doesn't have enough pop. Even if you color it in, it gets lost. There's five light bulbs. There's your star. And again, do the wire first. Because otherwise, it's too easy to tangle everything up on the tree and make it have too much wire. Not everything has to be touching the wire. This time as I go up, I'm Actually, just not even bothering to clean, so I get a little more of the blending. There's my tree. 
And the last step, the dots in blue. And there is the tree. The third idea on episode three is the hanging swag, which is essentially the tree, but extended a little bit. And I'm going to start off the same way that I did with the tree. Creating my little tent with five stickweeds, but this time instead of making it even across the bottom, I'm going to come back to the middle and stamp a little hanging down section. And then kind of drop it a little bit. But instead of just using the stickweed on this one, I'm going to grab the sprig and just put a little bit of softness in there. Because there's nothing that says you can't mix and match your stamps. So there's my sprig. I'm going to decorate it using the little snowflake. Clean it off. Blues and purples, tap, 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 tap to get the puff. I'm not putting it down and twisting it. I'm actually picking it up and down and tapping it. Like I have a nervous twitch. And I'm going to take the same stamp and by simply squashing it harder to the page, get a whole another flower out of it. I'm going to take my carved leaf put some carved leaves in there and my dots And then the last step would be to add a bow. And actually on this one I didn't add the dots. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. There's a bow on there and then you would have your hanging swag. The fourth idea on episode three is a garland. So I take my stickweed and I just kind of loop it up and down. And then I'm going to turn my stamp around. And I kind of offset it a little bit when I do this. So there's my garland. And again, I'm cleaning my stamps water on a paper towel. I'm going to take my brown ink and my pine cones. I'm going to use two sizes of pine cones, the stick and the stubby. Sure, I'm in the brown ink. And add some little groupings. Now, if you have a desire to have a bigger pine cone than this, you take this pine cone and stamp it multiple times. And you can create a larger pine cone simply by overlapping it. I'll take the little pine cone. Sometimes it's nice to have multiple sizes. My pine cones. Take the little three dots stick to add my berries. And then a solid three leaf stubby. And 
my dots in blue. And there's your garland. The fifth idea on episode three is a corner, and this is an extremely simple thing to do. So I'm going to take my stickweed, Hunter Green Ink. You can also do the same technique to create a frame just by continuing on and around. Turn around, stamp it the opposite direction. And there's a simple corner. I'm going to take this little fuzzy flower top stick, which is one of my favorites. Stamp it multiple times. Great little fuzzy thing. That my fade out leaf. my dots. Now a quick side note with your dots, when you're doing the backgrounds for your dots, you use them in blue, very light touch. You can take your dots, forget the light touch, forget the blue, take and slam them on here as a blob grab a leaf and you have a hydrangea or a geranium using the same stamp. The last idea of the, that is on the idea sheet that I want to show you for episode three is the fireworks which is actually two ideas in one. What I'm going to do is start off with my stickweed make sure I've cleaned it off. And I'm just going to grab a bright blue ink. Stamp one up, one down, crisscross it. It's basically going to be eight stick weeds in blue. Like this. Now you could add dots and little snowflakes around it, and there's the first idea, and you have a snowflake. But if you're not in the mood for snowflakes, take your stick weed and clean it off switch to a crimson ink and fill in the gaps and there's your fireworks explosion. You can dress it up a little bit with your dots. And a little star stick. And there's your 4th of July fireworks. And one other quick thing I can show you with the snowflake, our snowflake with the, the star. Let's take your little star in green. Stamp it around in a circle. To get the general shape. Once you do that, come back and kind of stamp it multiple times to fill it in. With that, grab your little three dots stick. And you have a very simple little wreath out of a star. One more idea I want to show you quickly that's not on this sheet but using this carved leaf is kind of fun. Draw my ground line. And you may see us do this over and over on different things but it just goes to show that you can create lots with a similar kind of thing. 
just get different looks. That. Take a brown pen so this isn't floating. Take some sort of little stamp. This is the fuzzy flower top. kind of cactus. So you can create a cactus garden with all sorts of different little flowers. Thanks for watching this episode of our Idea Sheet instructional videos. Be sure to go to our website at stampsbyjudith.com and check out other cards, ideas, and videos and see what else you can create with what you have of our images. Thanks!